Hello, wonderfuls. I've been busy doing art. Welcome back to Amy Mamie YouTube. And today we're going to color in that astronaut that you did last week. And it's going to look something like this. Are you ready? Let's go. Cool. So, I'm starting off with his helmet. His helmet is the first thing that the light is hitting. Therefore, it will be the lightest bit in his body. I'm using three different shades of blue. And I'm using acrylic paint. I'm also, I also have black and white, which you should always have black and white, for the shadowing and... Uh, detailing but more of that will come at the end of this video so as you can see look at me going so fast and that skill guy that's real good skill oh yeah use a paintbrush that has like a square head because it will help you keep in the lines you know do you know what i mean cool 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 Cool. So, moving on to his suit, we are going to paint it in the mid-tone blue, so not the darkest shade and also not the lightest shade. And I'm leaving the straps and the collar out, so don't. we're going to do that towards the end. And also, don't forget to put a paper underneath it, because if you mess up your mom's table, girl, she gonna shout at you. So don't forget to put that paper underneath because paint isn't that easy to come out, you know? I know it. Now we're moving back to his backpack where you can see I've already started uh, painting with the darkest shade. That is because it will give the illusion that it's behind him. And that's where backpacks should be, really, right? Unless you're one of those people who carry your backpack around in front of you, which is really odd. Those people are a bit weird. But anyway, um, do not paint where the oxygen tank is going because I will show you soon how to um, do that bit because there's a special technique. Also, as you can see, I'm painting the lines of the front of the backpack straight. And then at, you see when I start going behind it, I'll paint it a bit more rounded. So always follow your lines because that will also help it give a bit more of a um, 3D effect. In a, not realistic, but just like it won't look so flat, you know? It'll look more interesting. You don't want your paintings to look boring. Come on, guy. See? Now it's a bit more round. More on the vertical sort of thing. There you go. E I'm getting this bit all wrong. Oh no, oh no. You're going to have to fix that girl. Fix it. That's it. It's still not straight. Fix that bit. So while I'm fixing everything, you, you can always fix it. There's never right or wrong, okay? Painting is just a beautiful thing. Now, for his oxygen tank, I got a smaller square, still continue square, always square, paintbrush. And I will make it just a little bit lighter because I want it to look like it's sort of popping out his backpack. I don't want it to look like it's on his backpack, just like whatevs. Um, so just do that little square bit. And then to... Make it make it look like a bit of like a that movement I'm making with my hands is to make it look like one of those stretchy tubes. I don't really know the name, so I was just trying to show you with my hands, and obviously, you you know what I mean. So this bit it's a tap 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 motion. You pick up a bit of the paint and just tap it. 
keep tapping it. Tap it, tap it, tap it all the way down. And where you think there are folds and whatever, use black. And where there aren't folds, folds use the white because that will be getting more light than the bits that have folds, which will have more shadow. It's just common sense, you guys. But keep tapping. Tap, 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 okay? Now with his face, it's just black. Get that square paintbrush and just go with black. Don't mess around. Don't try putting other colors in there. Just paint that face, that visor, actually, black. Now I'm mixing the colors to make sort of a grayish color to put on the collar and the straps, not the color, the cola, 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 color on the collar. Ay, it's been a long day. So anyway, um, I like doing these different colors around the astronaut because the more contrast you use in... Um, paintings like different values in different areas of the painting the more interesting the painting is and the more popping out it gets so um that's why i use this grayish color but i don't use it completely gray because i want it to have a bit of the element of my painting also right now as you can see i've put my paper underneath it because you do not want that paint to get on the table i'm telling you right now don't do that. Right. So for the reflection of the astronaut looking at planet Earth, I'm using a rounded paintbrush and it just makes it easier to do, to paint the Earth, to make a round shape. <laughs> Duh. So I'm putting loads of paint in. I'm not mixing them at all. I'm just putting one layer on top of the other and I really like using a lot of paint because I think it gives the painting a lot more interesting features. And for the stars, this is the technique. You use a paintbrush, a toothbrush. Yes, ma'am, a toothbrush. Put a bit of white and splash, 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 splash. Now it goes all over his face, but you can always fix it afterwards like I'm doing right now. Get that paint again and pass over where the splashes went. Now on that side, go on that side, that's it, ease. That's it, and that's how you do it. And for the little reflections at the end, come on, fix it now, fix it already. So the little reflections at the end, you just do little stripes with a square um, paintbrush again. So just to finish it off, I get a very small uh, paintbrush that will help me do the details. Now you don't have to do this bit if you don't want, because it already looks good as it is. But I love doing the details because I think the more details it has, the more interesting it is. So as you can see, I'm really going for it with the black and white. On the, I decided that the light was coming more towards from the left hand side. Bear with me because I'm not very good with my left and right. But yeah, see? So the white is more on the left hand side and the black, the black shadings are more on the right hand side. I think I'm, I'm saying it right. Right, left, I don't know. So yeah, it just gives it a more of a realistic effect. Hey, hey, now we're on to our background, which is the moment for you to shine. You can literally draw whatever you want in the background. I'm going with, obviously, my trademark little rocket. 
And also, I absolutely love drawing patterns. That's my thing. It makes me feel so calm drawing patterns. So I'm going to do a pattern with pink and purple. I think it, go, it will go well with my blue astronaut bay. There you go. Got the fire coming out. So I'm going to do hearts and dots with my pink and purple. What are you going to do? Tell me. Talk to me, girl. Send me those astronauts, yeah? You did it, you guys. Your astronaut is done. Now what you have to do is send me photos of your astronaut because I really want to see what they look like. And also, I really want to see what you did in the background because it's open to do whatever you want to do. So I'm really interested in seeing what my YouTube lovers are up to. So Now it's the chance that you can put this in the frame and give it to your mama. She's going to be so happy. She's going to cry. You guys are awesome. Next week, we are going to learn how to do a mood board. Can't even see it. <laughs> um... Mood bars are awesome if you are in the middle of a project or if you're super stressed out. It just helps your brain go out of the box. So what I want you to do is um, get loads of magazines and uh, things that interest you um, and keep them because we're going to use them next week, okay? Uh, what do YouTubers say again? subscribe follow me follow me on instagram send me messages all of it love you guys see you next week <laughs>